Hello American Patriots, Douglas Ducote here. Today's video is going to focus on a letter that I just finished writing to the VFW, Veterans of Foreign Wars, which I am a member of. Uh, it's something that I believe that every American Patriot needs to be aware of. And sadly, I will be separating myself from this organization. And you will see from the letter why. Before I get into that, let me say that I put a video up at my website that won't be allowed here uh, about the recent tragedy over the weekend in Gilroy, California at the Garlic Festival, a festival that I've been to many, many times when I lived out in California, I took my family to it. We always had good times there. And sadly now, someone with some serious problems uh, went on a very bad shooting spree, and a lot of people lost their lives and were injured. So I have exposed something that no one is talking about right now. In fact, they're spinning it in a way tonight on the news media that is not good for American patriots. And you need to know the truth. So if you go over to my website, DouglasDakote.com, you will be able to see that video. And that's the only place you'll be able to see it. Because if I put it here, it's going to get flagged like all the rest. Now, let's move on to this VFW letter. Uh, you can see the entire letter on my community section. I've, I'm going to read it, but I'm also going to uh, kind of skip off a few things or change a few words because I hope I, I don't want this video to be flagged like many of my videos are by YouTube. I want this video to be able to go out to everyone. And when YouTube flags my videos, then it doesn't get promoted. It doesn't go on people's news feeds. The people that are subscribed to my YouTube channel do not know that it even exists unless they happen to come to the channel and click on it. So I'm only going to change this slightly with a few words in hopes it doesn't trigger the algorithms that shut me down all the time. But please go to my community section and you can read the entire letter as well as write your own letter if you would like because I've included the information there for you. So let's do this. The person that wrote the letter is a VFW member at their headquarters. Goes by the name of Kay Williams. Dear Kay Williams, I've been a member of the Veterans of Foreign Wars for 30 years. And just this past year became a lifetime member. After reading today in the August 2019th VFW magazine, the story that you wrote titled VFW Post Helps Create Children of Character, I would like to know if I can get my membership fee refunded. This is the magazine. And, uh... The title of the story is VFW Foster's First All Gore All All Gore <laughs> VFW Foster's First All Girl Boy Scout Troop. Oh, and if anybody doubts, here's my lifetime membership to the VFW that I just recently got. Letter goes on to say. I was a proud Boy Scout as a kid, so was my dad and granddad, three generations of Boy Scouts. My children were also Scouts. My two sons were Boy Scouts, and my daughter was a Girl Scout. Even my wife was a Girl Scout. Then things started changing, and the leadership of the Boy Scouts of America caved to political correctness from those on the far left. First, they wanted to allow boys that considered themselves other than boys to join. Then men who considered themselves, other than men, to join as scout leaders. And Boy Scouts of America 
caved and they agreed. Well, that was not enough. So the far left started pushing for girls to join the Boy Scouts. And the Boy Scouts of America caved and agreed. That's what the Girl Scouts are for, for girls. Boy Scouts are for boys. If you want an LGBTQ scouting group, make one. But no, that's not what happened, is it? Now girls can join the Boy Scouts, but the boys can't join the Girl Scouts. Boys that are not boys can join... <laughs> boys that are not girls can join the Boy Scouts, but can't join the Girl Scouts. Men that don't consider themselves boys or men can't join the Girl Scouts, but can join the Boy Scouts. This political correctness has gone overboard. Then, bam, I read the August 2019 magazine to find that the VFW supports this issue. I have nothing against those people. I have several friends that are part of that group that I serve with in the Army. And I have nothing against those that have no clue what they are in that community. But stop pushing this on everyone else. The VFW's stance on this is wrong. Boys join Boy Scouts, girls join Girl Scouts, and the LGBTQ, LBGTQ community should start their own Scouts, period. The VFW should not be part of this political correct issue. I no longer care to be associated with any organization, especially a veterans organization, that caves to far-left liberals and their political ideology. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to your response. Douglas M. Nicody, Sr. Now, as I politely said, I changed a few words in hopes that this video doesn't get flagged and it will be seen by more people than a few thousand. To read the entire letter, go to my community section where I proudly posted it. And then please go over to DouglasDakote.com where you can see the video about information regarding what happened over the weekend, the tragedy at the Garlic Festival in Gilroy, California, and what you as an American patriot need to know about the person that was responsible for that tragedy. Because what's being spun right now is not the truth. As always, please say a prayer for our men and women serving the United States military, our veterans, our law enforcement officers, first responders, their families, our Blue and Gold Star families, our president, and our country. Hope you all have a wonderful and blessed evening. And for now, I'm Douglas Ducote, and I'm out.